Welcome to ASD's Living Our Values Online with Chet Garber, the Tech Integration Specialist here at ASD. We all know we should live our ASD values in person, but how can we show these same values online? Students have the same questions as parents do, so today let's examine these, and we'll start just today by examining responsibility. We can see responsibility online as two separate aspects, safety, privacy, and security, basically keeping the information that I want private held close to me so it doesn't get out to where I don't intend it to be, as well as balancing and separating work and play. So let's look at these two aspects individually. You need to keep yourself safe by keeping important information private. We all know that. And we all know not to reveal important information like addresses or phone numbers online. But it's surprising that even though we know that, we often make mistakes with our online account privacy settings or passwords. Have we broadcast to people that we didn't intend to? Did that private message from my friend go out on a group chat? Can everyone see my wall and posts or only some people? What do I need to know? Well, let's distill it down to a couple of questions that you can ask yourself today. Number one, how can we check our privacy settings online? So if I'm using WhatsApp or Facebook, where can I go online to find out what the privacy settings are <clears throat> and how to adjust them? Well, obviously I can go to YouTube and I can look for these kinds of tutorials and that's what I'd recommend. Take a look online for those kinds of tutorials that tell you where to find your privacy settings and how to change them. You need to check these privacy settings to make sure that you're sharing information with friends, with friends of friends, or whether you're keeping everything private, and whether or not parents and students agree on what you should be doing. It's pretty simple to check, but make sure you go to YouTube to look for those privacy settings. So that's question number one. How can we check our privacy settings online? Question number two you should ask yourself about responsible safety, privacy, and security is your password. Is my password hard to guess? Is it something that is fairly easy for anybody to guess if they know me? Or is it fairly difficult because I've put some special characters in there that only I know? Another question some people don't consider is, is my password difficult to watch? Meaning if someone's looking over my shoulder and they're watching me type, is it fairly easy to see me type my password? I've seen a few people with the password a a a a a a a Sure, it's easy to type and it's quick when I'm doing it myself, but anybody looking over my shoulder can obviously see what my password is. So I need to make sure that my password is not only hard to guess, but it's difficult to watch. The last part you want to consider about the password question is, have you kept it private? Have I given my password to my friends, even Though they promised they would keep it private, are they really going to keep it private? What happens if they're having a fight with me and they decide that they're going to spout that out at the next group of our friends together and suddenly everybody's got my password? So these are two questions you can ask yourself today. How to check your privacy settings online and asking questions about my password. And if it's not secure enough, should I change it? Let's take a look at the second part of responsibility, which is responsible balance and separation. This is another place where we often have problems being responsible, being balanced in our online and offline use, and in separating work and play. So again, let's look at a couple of questions we can ask ourselves right now. This is great dinner time conversation. <clears throat> the first question I can ask myself is, how much screen time is too much? And how would we know if we were unbalanced? Is two hours too much? Is three hours too much? How about seven? Is it too much on the weekend? Is it too much to have any at all during the week? Can I be trusted to have a little bit of screen time during the week? Also, how will I know if I'm unbalanced? What would start happening to me if I was unbalanced? Would I start to have issues with friendships? or homework, or even my health or happiness? Another question we should be asking ourselves is, what habits do we need to separate play from work? Successful students know that playtime is important, but it should always be separated from work time. So what habits do I have, or do we need, that help separate work and play? 
For example, if I'm having a problem with this, do I need someone to help me right now until I'm able to do this better by myself? Maybe one habit I need is I need to be sitting in a public place like the kitchen table where my mom or my dad can help look over my shoulder and say, you know what, I think you should probably turn off YouTube while you're doing your science homework. It's going to help you concentrate and separate work and play. Maybe I need a reminder from somebody. Maybe I need to only have my school computer be something that I use for schoolwork and I use a separate device completely for entertainment. So again, the question is, what habits do I need to separate play from work to make sure that they don't mix? So thanks for listening, everybody. Remember, it's important to live our values in person, but it's also vital to live those values online. See you next time.